Good morning, it's Carmel and Kathy from Connie Hudson. We are gonna do another acrylic pour this week. This time we are using these metallic paints and just like last week, they already have the flow medium in them. Next week, we're gonna do a little different where we're adding that and some cell magic to it and creating more of a galaxy look. But what we're gonna do different this week from last week is we are gonna pour the paints in this cup here and then we're gonna flip it over and watch them kind of disperse and where they go. So Kathy, you ready? Ready. All right, let's just start adding some paint. We're probably gonna go to half a cup or a little less than half a cup. I think that should be enough. This is an 11 by 14 canvas. You can always work bigger, you can work smaller. Of course, the bigger you go, the more paint you're gonna need. Um, that's just something to think about, but let's just start adding some paint. think we're going to need as much as half a cup. If we do, we'll just add it as we go. And you can add them. And then if you say, ooh, I think I want to add some more of this, you can go back and add some more. So we are using metallic. We've kind of got a gold, a rose gold, a silver, and I guess like a bronze. I'm pretty good. Kathy, how about you? Let okay. me see how much you got. Add a little bit more. Oh, I gotta get the last one. Okay. That's not it. We'll just add a little bit of all of them. This is really messy, so we have got extra paper down here to help protect these tables, and we hope we don't get it on our clothes. Amen. If we do, we'll just tie dye the rest of them. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our canvases and we're gonna try to center the cups in the middle of the canvas before we flip it. And I'm gonna put my hand here to help steady it. Can you do that? And then all we're gonna do is just flip. Oops, that was kind of hard to get. Lay it down, that's all right, even if it moves a little bit. That's kind of cool looking already. And then the count of three, let's pull them up. You ready? Okay. One, two, three. Woo, look how pretty. And they're already dispersing. That is so pretty. Do we have to move it around? I guess we do, don't yeah, we? Yeah, All right, well, let's pick them up and start shifting. And I'm just gonna kinda go around the world with it. You can go corner to corner if you like. If you get over here, look how pretty that is. And of course, if you don't have enough paint, you can always add more of this, but that kind of, I guess, defeats the point of putting it in the cup and doing it this way. Let's see what it's gonna do. Well, it looks like I have a lot of gold in mine. Let's see if I can't get it to move a little off the edge of that. So again, this is like another cool little abstract. I really want to try this on a bigger canvas. Let's see what else we can create from it. But I love the way these colors are blending. Come on, never get to the same. Never. I wish we had put some white in here with it, but white didn't come in our little kit. I got these paints from Joann's again because I thought I was doing really well and getting ahead of the game and I ordered from Michaels and I went to pick up my paint and guess what? It was ordered in Dadeville, Georgia instead of Mobile, Alabama. So I had to cancel and find something that would work. So I will be prepared for next week when my order comes in. I'm just gonna let it keep running here, see if I can, I don't know, I kinda like the white of the canvas. Now I'll tell you what I think I'm gonna try, I'm gonna add some of this to see if I can't cover. Let's just see how this works. That 
almost gives it, you know, when we poured it in the cup, it created more of a blended effect. To mm. put it on top, it gives you more of like the straight color, which is fine too. It just kind of changes it up. So I think I'm gonna see if I can't get them to blend this way. Yeah, they're definitely moving. And guys, you want might want to make sure you have gloves on again because I am getting this stuff all over these gloves and I sure don't want it on my skin. You get paint on your skin, you always kind of want to go wash it off acrylic oil, whatever it is, you don't know what's in them. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit down here. See if I can just cover up that side. Let's add a little bit of you. still moving it doesn't look like it it's very slow if you guys can see it there's a drip right in the middle coming mm -hmm. that's just kind of even peaceful watching it move itself I think I'm gonna use my finger and try to help this down here move a little bit it needs some love come on we'll bring that one right to it I hope if you guys are doing this at home, that um, either on the Connie Hudson page, in the comments on this video, take a picture of what you've done and upload. Let me see how you're doing. I think this is fun. I'd love to see how everybody else is doing. But I thank you for joining us. This was a lot of fun and I can't wait to see you guys next week. Bye-bye.